Hello and welcome back to The Motif. Today we'll be looking back fondly on Frank Williams's illustrious career and the top 10 drivers he helped shape throughout it. We really hope you enjoy this video and would massively appreciate any feedback in the comments. After a brief career as a driver and mechanic, Frank Williams founded Frank Williams Racing Cars in 1966. After running cars in Formula 2 and Formula 3 for several years, he purchased a Brabham Formula 1 chassis and ran his friend and driver Piers Courage throughout the 1969 Formula 1 season, twice finishing in second place. The team's first win came in 1979, followed by their first Drivers' and Constructors' Championship, both coming in 1980. Between 1979 and 1997, the team won seven Drivers' Championships, nine Constructors' Championships, and a total of 113 wins. A road car accident near the Paul Richard circuit in March 1986 resulted in Frank sustaining a spinal cord injury and rendered him unable to walk. In 1987, the Queen awarded Frank the title of CBE and was later knighted in 1999. He is also one of only a few non-Frenchmen to have been made a Chevalier of France's Légion d'Honneur, accorded for his work with Renault engines. In 2008, Frank was awarded the Wheatcroft Trophy for his contribution to the motorsport industry. On 19th of December 2010, he was awarded the Helen Rollison Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Face of Adversity at the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Awards. Clay Regazzoni Under Williams, he clinched the team's first F1 win, driving a Cotsworth-powered Williams FW07 fittingly at the British Grand Prix in 1979. Regazzoni's fortunate hiring to Williams' relatively new F1 team came after Williams had acquired a substantial funding injection through an old F1 friend of his, John Crichton Stewart. Alan Jones Australian Alan Jones came on board with Williams in 1978. Frank put a £350,000 budget together and persuaded Alan Jones, winner of the 1977 Austrian GP with Shadow, to come on board for 1978. The no-nonsense Australian gelled perfectly with Head and Williams, and he was to play a key role in establishing the team. Winning the Drivers' Championship and the team winning the Constructors' title by 54 points, Jones proved a worthy ally of Frank's. Nigel Mansell Mansell's seemingly constant moves to different F1 teams between 1985 and into the 90s are way overshadowed by his immense success, facilitated by Williams. Frank recalled, There are more stories to be recounted about Nigel Mansell within Williams than anyone else. He was just one hell of a racer. Whenever he went racing, the horns came out and the fangs popped out of his jaw, upper and lower and he was off. He was fantastic, but difficult to deal with sometimes. But there are great memories. Nelson Piquet Piquet became another of the seven drivers under Williams who won the world title. He was heavily mentored and coached by Frank in the mid-80s after having joined alongside Mansell in 1986. Many experts argue his best years were behind him, but Williams, in his ever-present surprising fashion, saw Piquet rise to the top once again. Alain Prost Onboarded in 1993 by Williams, Alain Prost strolled to the 1993 world title under Williams, having reportedly thanked Frank and his team profusely after retiring soon after principally because of Prost's massive and fairly casual success in the previous year, 1994 marked the year where every driver wanted to join the Williams F1 team. Lance Stroll Only 18 years old when signed onto the Williams roster in 2017, Stroll was a controversial topic of discussion in the F1 world. His age was surely against him, noted F1 pundits and commentators. Williams allowed Stroll to really have his first full season in F1, with Williams looking beyond age and focusing on raw talent, Kiki and Nico Rosberg. Both Kiki and his son Nico 
respectively represented the Williams F1 team. Kiki, back in 1982, took the F1 title driving for Williams, with five more captured in a golden period between 1987 and 1997. Nico then came into dominance, signing and first driving for Williams in 2006. He got into his stride, setting a lap record in his first race in 2006 at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Having spent just under four years with Williams until his departure in 2010, Nico acquired over 75 points for the team with two podium positions. Valtteri Bottas Alongside his teammate, Philippe Massa, Bottas took a string of podiums between 2013 and 2016. His time with Williams had in many ways accorded Bottas with the necessary commendations and podium figures to move on to a successful career going into 2017 and beyond. His impactful Twitter post sums up his admiration and deep respect he had for Williams, thanking him for everything. George Russell Sir Frank Williams was one of, if not the, biggest names in British motorsport you'll forever be a legend. Sir Frank was such a genuinely wonderful human being, and I'll always remember the laughs we shared. He was more than a boss. He was a mentor and a friend to everybody who joined the Williams Racing family and so many others. These were just some of the emotional words Russell had for his mentor and friend. Russell speaks of how privileged he felt to be able to race for Williams, and one can hear it in every syllable he utters cementing the notion of Frank's undeniable influence in Russell's career. Jacques Villeneuve Villeneuve drove for the team for three years and already knew the team well as his own father had to compete against the Williams team and head in his career. Jacques was the last driver to have won the world title for Williams and as a result wrote a heartfelt commemorative statement after Sir Frank's passing speaking of his satisfaction of driving for Frank and the shared deep respect and affection they had for each other. Frank was the pinnacle of F1, a true legend, and will be sorely missed. But his undeniable legacy will undoubtedly embolden generations of races to come. So we really hope you enjoyed this third episode of our Ranked series. If you have the time to share this around, we'd be hugely appreciative and look forward to getting more content out for you. We'll see you in the next one.